friends. Today I'm going to share with you how I make these super easy faux pumpkin planters in vase. You only need a few things. A hot knife. This makes it so, so much easier to cut through the fake pumpkins. I will leave you a link below. I also use two fake pumpkins from Target, a medium and a small size one. And just be sure you cut off any tags before you start working on this project. I use a pencil to kind of draw out exactly where I wanted to cut the lid of the pumpkin off. Can you see? And let me tell you, this hot knife melts through the foam like butter. I did take my time because it is hot and sharp, so be mindful of your fingers when you're using this tool. It really is a game changer, you guys. Someone told me about this at Michael's, and I've been using it ever since for foam. And you'll see the top of the pumpkin pops right off, no problem. I also use it on the smaller pumpkin as well. Also, no issues, no mess, no fuss. Look how cute these little IKEA planters, these little IKEA plants, excuse me, look in these. They're inexpensive and they're the perfect size. And I know everybody has these little fake plants from IKEA. So I wanted to show you guys how cute they look in here. But I'm going to use some flowers myself. Make sure it's in a vase or a glass that's going to fit in the pumpkin. I had to push mine down a little bit, but it went in just perfect. See? It looks just like a little vase. Now for the smaller pumpkin, I just literally popped in a succulent that I picked up from my local nursery. It was showing a little bit of the rim, so I used these this reindeer moss that I got from TJ Maxx, but really you can get it from Joanne and Michaels and just tucked it in to cover a little bit of the dirt and the rim of the um, plastic planter that it came in. And that's it. Just that easy, you have a vase and a planter made from these fake pumpkins. Here they are in my living room, you guys. What do you think? I love the way these came out. I mean, these are cheap pumpkins from the Halloween section at Target. The big one's $8, the small one's $4. And I mean, they look amazing. How cute is this small pumpkin with the succulent? I actually really love the contrast between the darker green color of the succulent and the little um, green reindeer moss. So pretty and works so well for covering up the dirt. And with the bigger pumpkin, I went over the top of these flowers. There are actually two packs of flowers that I got from Trader Joe's. Um, the ornamental kale you see there is very fall-like, but it just looks like I went on a walk and picked those up, right? I love it so much. And let me tell you, the game changer here is that hot knife, you guys. I did not know about that hot knife last year, and I actually tried to do this project with the little hand saw that comes with the car pumpkin carving kits and it was a jagged hot mess and I just scrapped the whole thing so but look how cute now um I'm telling you this would be wonderful on your as a Thanksgiving table centerpiece you could do you know faux flowers to match whatever decoration you have going on I love those little pumpkins but anyway you know to match whatever you have going on like I showed you earlier you can just even plop some fake greenery in there I mean the sky's the limit in terms of what you put in these but I really wanted to show you guys how easy it was to cut the tops off once you have the hot knife because they're hollow inside so you can use them as a planter like I'm doing with the succulent or as a vase by you know sticking in a container that will fit inside of the pumpkin and can hold water and that's pretty much what it all you need so maybe a mason jar would even work i'm just super happy with how these came out and i think they look kind of impressive you know from cheap pumpkins to these pretty um vase and planters so i would love to know what you think let me know below comment you know like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time